Hey beauties, welcome back to Pretty Scary, the channel that gives you easy to follow budget friendly tutorials that anybody can try at home. And today it's a bit of a throwback. It's one of the ones I filmed when I was pregnant but never actually released. So I will be narrating it from the point of view of now when my little one is actually 21 months old. But as you can see, I'm quite clearly pregnant in this. So no, I'm not having another baby. This is old and I hope you enjoy it. It is the third one of my pregnancy Halloween makeup stroke costumes and it's very early in the morning and I'm very tired and no amount of concealer could cover the dark circles under my eyes. Filming at 35 weeks pregnant is no joke but I'm doing it all for you. So today my lovely little beanie bump is going to be a Venus flytrap essentially. Now firstly can I just say look at my puffy water retention pregnancy face. Yeah why though indeed. I, yeah I my pregnancy was very far from glamorous. You know you see these women with this lovely glamorous glow and you know they're all slim but they just have that nice little baby bump. Oh no not me. I was like a walking bloody weeble. Anyway so First I drew the shape of the Venus flytrap on my bump using a lip liner and then I painted the base green shade. I then took some latex and started painting it around the edge of the lips um, because in just a moment I'm going to build up the lips of the Venus flytrap with some good old latex and cotton wool. surprisingly hard actually working on a bump because you can't really see what you're doing because your bump is kind of getting in the way of your um, sight line. Just a quick note beauty, when you're drying your latex on your bump make sure you use your hair dryer on a low setting because it's not good to overheat your bump. Also I think I've already mentioned this in another video but I've got pregnancy related carpal tunnel which is where the swelling presses on the nerve so the ends of my fingertips have all gone completely numb which makes it very difficult to do any kind of modeling like with the latex or any kind of fine detail work so I'm really up against it but I'm soldiering on. Now once the lips were built and shaped and dried I started doing more on the paint job so I first took a pink water-based face paint and painted that inside of the mouth Make sure that anything you're using on your baby bump is non-toxic. So obviously I'm using kids face paints. Um, yeah, it's really important as you can imagine to make sure you're not putting any kind of toxic concoctions onto your bump. So please don't use anything like acrylic paint or anything like that. You should never use that on your skin at the best of times, but especially not on your baby bump. Right, so once I painted the inside of the mouth, I painted the lips in exactly the same pink. Then using a darker green than the base tone, I started detailing the Venus flytrap. Now, granted at this point, it kind of looks a bit like a watermelon with a mouth, but trust me, it does all eventually come together. And once I had drawn on those kind of veiny type things that make it look just like a watermelon, I started doing some shading by using that dark green all around the mouth area. The next 
step was to take some purple and start detailing the inside of the mouth. Obviously, I'm not using realistic tones here because this is more of a sort of a cartoony look. Um, and you can see here as well that I am painting the water paint, water paint, the water based face paint on with one brush, like a more of a fine detail brush, and then blending it out with a fluffy brush. Just the same as you would blend out, say, some eyeshadow on a smoky eye. Um, and then taking the green, the same green that I used for the detailing on the watermelon, um, Venus flytrap, um, I am now painting on some leaves. using that same dark shade of green in order to actually shade the Venus flytrap itself this time using a sponge rather than the fluffy brush just because I'm covering a larger area and it was a little bit quicker um, I have lost my train of thought what on earth was I going to say <laughs> baby brain extends far beyond actually having your baby believe me um, yes i know what i was going to say so if you don't want to shade using the water-based face paint you could shade with eyeshadows if you're more comfortable shading with eyeshadows um because it is a little bit trickier blending water-based paints rather than actually blending eyeshadows like you normally would and then just taking a brown shade and just intensifying those vein like structures on the venus flytrap Then I took some red and further detailed the inside of that mouth. You can see it's sort of starting to come together now and it's starting to look a little bit less like a watermelon, but in all honesty, still a little bit like a watermelon. Um, but yeah, it still comes together in the end. Honestly, being brutally honest, this wasn't the best of the bump art I did and it's probably the reason why I released the others and not this one. Um, but I still liked it and I was still proud of doing it considering I was so heavily pregnant and so swollen and so numb fingered. <laughs> Also, I want this, this tutorial to be a good lesson in how um, not to let your personal circumstances hold you back from creating if you find joy in creating like I do. So, you know, if say you've got chronic pain or if you're going through something terrible in your life or you've got some other hurdle, don't let that stop you creating. Just create a way and do your best and you can still find joy in it. And it's, you know, it's so therapeutic. Here you can see me painting black over all that colour I did earlier because I decided I didn't like it. Hey beauties, right, my camera battery was dying and because I've got limited time, because I've got to dash off to my scan, I had to use the time to do the face makeup. So I'll just show you. So I've gone for a really bright green and kind of like an eyeliner flick. So the sort of vintagey look, but a sort of comic book vintage look to go with the feel of the film. Some false lashes, bright pink lips. And I also stuck the teeth onto the monster using glue and then anchoring in place with a little bit of latex. Now it's just time to add those finishing touches so you can see that I'm just painting around the base of those teeth to blend them to the lip. Um, and then painting the actual teeth themselves because I didn't want them to look sort of too sparkling white. If you were an evil man-eating plant then you wouldn't have sparkling white teeth because you wouldn't find time to brush your teeth because you'd be too busy eating people. And yeah, that was just a mix of brown and yellow just to make those teeth look really, really nasty. At this point I decided to add some more depth to my creation by shading with some eyeshadows. Um, 
you can only take the shading with the waterface face paint so far i find and if you want a little bit more depth and extra dimension it's always a good idea to use eyeshadow on top of that so here i'm using a mix of dark brown and then my favorite all-time shading color which is deep night by laura mercier um anybody that's watched my channel for a while will know that i use this a lot i find it creates a lot more depth in the shadows than an actual black wood and i just love using it so i use it a lot and yeah this is what you see me doing here Now it's time for highlights and for the highlights I'm using a mix of some white and some pink water-based face paints on the lips um, and now as you can see it's looking a lot less like a watermelon I mean don't get me wrong it's still got a bit of a melon like quality to it but it's definitely looking more like a Venus flytrap and less like something you would eat with parma ham for a starter at a restaurant now just taking that deeper green that I was using earlier and creating some vines coming up from the Venus flytrap in retrospect I kind of wish I hadn't added these because yeah they I wasn't a hundred percent pleased with the result but I kind of felt like it needed something other than just the fly trap on the bump um, I think it was because I was kind of running out of time to get to my scan to be perfectly honest and I kind of rushed this bit a little bit but you know I will always be honest with you beauts I own my mistakes I'm not gonna say yeah I love this it looked great if in actual fact I look back on it and think yeah actually it looks a bit shite so I'm always gonna be honest with you beauts and I wasn't 100% happy with this bit but you know they're there and they did the job and there we go it's done right beauts so this is the finished look i've got my vintagey hair my pink cardigan vintage style makeup and of course the monster right i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.